over coming weeks, we anticipate starting production of, of mixed rare earth carbonate uh, from our demonstration plant at, uh, at Makutu. Um, that's incredibly important for us in being able to put that product in the hands of a number of potential strategic partners who've been looking to, to get access to uh, new supplies of, of, of magnet and heavy rare earths. Um, we've also been uh, working on an updated exploration target and an updated mineral resource estimate, which will fold in the data from the, uh, the, the results from the phase five drilling that we, we completed uh, in the second half of last year. Tuning in to the Assay TV, we're today I'm delighted to be joined once again by Tim Harrison, the Managing Director of Ionic Rare Earths. Ionic Rare Earths is harnessing technologies to accelerate the mining, refining and recycling of magnet and heavy rare earths, critical for the energy transition. The company is establishing itself as one of the world's alternative sustainable suppliers of separated magnet and heavy rare earths, focused on helping countries re by reducing risks of supply chains. So welcome Tim, great to have you back on the Assay. Hi, Katie. Good to be back. Right. So I'm sure many of our viewers are familiar with Ionic by now, but for those that are relatively new to the channel, can you give us some background to the company and its journey so far, please? Yeah, so Ionic Rare Earths is developing uh, both primary and secondary magnet and heavy rare earth supply chains. So primary um, rare earths, uh, magnet and heavy rare earths coming from our Makutu Ionic Absorption Clay Deposit in Uganda. And secondary magnet rare earth oxides coming from um, our recycling business, ionic technologies in the UK. Excellent. And the company has a lot of news flow, particularly in the last few months. Um, but you recently announced a large scale mining license for Makutu Rare Earths project, which has now been signed by the Ugandan government. Tell us more about this and, and what this means moving forward. Yeah, so we've been working through a process uh, with the Ugandan government for, for some time. It feels like a long time, but we, we've got there in the end. We've ticked off all the boxes um, with, with the Ugandan government, the stakeholders there. Um, it started with a feasibility study we completed last year. We've got all of our environmental permits um, approved in Uganda, land access okay. agreements, and we submitted the mining licence application uh, work through that process with the Ugandan government, uh, which was then um, provisionally approved, gazetted, and then finally signed uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, ticking all the boxes at, at Makutu. Excellent. Congratulations on that. Um, and in 2023, Ionic Technologies, which is a 100% owned UK subsidiary of the company, um, developed a demonstration magnet recycling plant to produce separated magnet rare earth oxides can you tell our viewers a little bit more about that, how the company got into this and what, what's its purpose? Yeah, so um, the, the story with Ionic Technologies, we acquired uh, the business um, in 2022. It's a, it's a spin out uh, from, from Queen's University Belfast. They've developed IP and know-how on the separation of, uh, of rare earths, including heavy rare earths. Um, applicable to mineral concentrates, uh, but also magnet uh, recycling. We've taken that tech and we've really focused on, on the magnet recycling part of the business and with the support of, uh, of stakeholders in the UK, UK government through Innovate UK, um, the Advanced Propulsion, uh, Advanced Propulsion Centre. Uh, we've been awarded a number of grants which have uh, provided us with, uh, you know, some funds to, to build a demonstration plant in Belfast we started producing high purity separated magnet rare earths in the middle of last year and continuing to work towards now, you know, going to continuous operations. So um, on the back of the products we're producing in Belfast, we're able to demonstrate the uh, the potential for those alternative supply chains to be developed in, uh, in, in countries looking for sovereign capability and domestic capability. And that demonstration plant is now in 24-7 operation, is that correct? That's correct. So we've started, uh, you know, the team's operating now 24-7. We've processed uh, about 2.7 tonnes of, of magnets uh, through the front end of the circuit, so grinding, uh, crushing, grinding, um, and we're now in the process of starting up the leaching and separation circuits. Excellent. You also had quite a big announcement today with the strengthening of your board and the executive. Um, can you tell our investors about that? What, what's the context of the appointment? 
Yeah, so um, we've we've been looking for uh, the right fit for chair um, uh, for for some time. Um, pleased to announce that uh, we've appointed uh, Mr. Brett Lynch as our new executive chair, um, and it's clear to me, you know, having a number of discussions with with Brett over the last few months, uh, that there is clearly a huge opportunity um, for for Ionic Rare Earths in both primary and secondary. Uh, capability that we're delivering. And I think, you know, I can certainly feel that that excitement uh, and enthusiasm that uh, that Brett's going to be bringing to, to the table to to help us deliver on our on our strategy um, and to, to build that resilience uh, or at least be a, a plank in the in the development of some resilience in in Western supply chains for, for magnet rare earths. Excellent. I think just as a bit of a roundup for our investors, because you do have a lot of news flow, what should they be looking out for in particular in the coming months? Yeah, so we've already started off 2024 ticking a, a number of boxes, and, and I think we've got a, a few more to be, be ticked off over the next uh, quarter or two. Um, certainly over, over coming weeks, we anticipate starting production of, of mixed rare earth carbonate uh, from our demonstration plant at, uh, at Makutu. Um, that's incredibly important for us in being able to put that product in the hands of a number of potential strategic partners who've been looking to, to get access to uh, new supplies of, of, of magnet and heavy rare earths. Um, we've also been uh, working on an updated exploration target and an updated mineral resource estimate, which will fold in the data from the uh, the, the results from the phase five drilling that we, we completed uh, in the second half of last year. Uh, and continuing to work towards that uh, that investment decision uh, for Makutu, and uh, with Ionic Technologies, you know, getting to continuous production of, of magnet rare earth oxides, being able to put that in the hands of our collaboration partners, being Ford and and less common metals, but also a number of other discussions that we're working on at the moment, uh, potential partnerships to build uh, yeah that resilience in in new supply of of magnet rare earths uh, for. You know, Western Western supply chains to emerge. Absolutely. Well, as always, it's been a pleasure to catch up with Ionic Tim and hopefully we'll hear from you again soon. Thank you, Katie.